Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Let's take a peek. Spin in opposite directions. Conical. Choke coil. Dielectric. Choke coil. DC. Conical. Inside the conical is the cone shape. I don't know if you can see that. I don't feel like moving it. Oh, well, I guess I could. Got the conical on the inside the cone on both sides. Peace at least gallon. Peace Tesla. Let's get down to it. Looks like I'm drawing table set up here. Given to me. A daughter didn't want it anymore. It's her drawing table. We're gonna just do a couple minutes, a few minutes of talking. And we're going to get into why this is being built by me, created by nature, and um, push, pushed for me to build in the process through all my fellow YouTubers. Yes, you guys are going to be let in on the secret and you guys already gave me a lot of information and we're going to push through it so let's start off with some of my notes here this is just basic to start the process to, for you to understand why this is being built we'll get into some stuff that's not on here this is just a, a the start page of this process okay there we go so um just screenshot that so you can come back and read it. Okay, bam. And we're referencing uh, why this is being built. Okay, so uh, we're calling this project here a um, quarter wave resonator. Okay, and why I call it a quarter wave resonator is um, why we're going to have this two minute video. Okay, so a quarter wave resonator um, is a secondary coil wire must be a quarter wavelength of the resonant frequency. So whatever frequency you're running there, um, a quarter wave resonator. What does a quarter wave mean? Let's just go a little deeper. Quarter wave resonator is a tube closed at one end and open at the other. The walls and rigid ends of the tube confines the body of air within the resonator cavity. Under certain conditions, this body of air can be brought to a state of resonance. Brings us into the next part, octaves, okay? So, this is what I'm feeling from nature and when I'm pulling in. It's music related. <coughs> it's music related. But it's also my electrical experience from what I learned the last seven years uh, into the equation. So what an octave, let's go what an octave is now. So an octave is a perfect octave is a interval between one musical pitch and another which double its frequency. So we can increase frequency by having an octave. <laughs> now, what is this all about? The main question, why am I building this? I didn't know in the beginning, but this is just getting into Walter Russell and, and not so much Walter Russell, but having the experience 
between Tesla um, and, and and other greats um, that uh, pull all this in. Now I'm talking Maxwell. I'm I'm talking Benjamin Franklin. Uh, out of the outside of the envelope, from like Steinmetz or or um, oh geez, or uh, you got you got definitely got Tesla. You got. Uh, Einstein, you got, um, man, did I just like ramble myself off of all the greats? I'm going to make a list of the greats and then, and I won't ever forget the greats. But the Troumadors, the greats, the ones that I'm stupidly forgetting about right now. Woo! Let me take a deep breath. So anyway, let's get into this. Schumann Residence is why we're building the quarter octave wave, okay, Resonator. The tube, the resonator. There goes your resonator, guys. This is going to be like Earth's heart. This is going to be the heart pump that all humanity is going to have to be able to pull workable energy off of and very little in and everything you want out, okay? Because we're pulling it. We're not getting free. It's not free because there is no such thing as free. Energy is never, um, energy don't, don't dissipate or die. It gets transferred. So basically, it's just we're pulling from a different place. All right? So instead of using electromagnetic and iron, which iron and electromagnetic, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But um, from when trying to get above um, the usage that you have created that mankind is used to at this day. Meaning like today we have blenders, we have washing machines, we have pumps, we have you name it in our household as far as usage different lights, everything different, yada, yada, all kinds of uses. So basically at that point, if you were a mathematician, mathematician, you would just calculate all that and it'd be a number. And that number is now greater now than it was in 1900 or 1860, okay? So you start getting into Faraday, you start... You start getting into um, life weight. You start getting into um, different people. Maxwell, you start bringing in stuff. But you got to think about th those people were coming to light only because their research of people before them, the troubadours before them. And I'm talking about like way back when, when you're talking about... Um, um, Faraday, you're talking about, um, <clears throat> um, yeah, there's another brain fart. Let's go to the Schumann. So, in sound wise, if you take the Schumann, and this is, sound has a lot to do with this, because you get into octaves, you're dealing with sound, you're dealing with electric, it's kind of coinciding, but there's a little differences in a sense. When you, Schumann, when converted into sound waves, 7.83 is a flat, that's a B2. Two octaves below the lowest note on the piano. Two octaves below the lowest note. That's a big deal, guys. The electric powers hum at 60 hertz here in the USA. And it's the ninth overtone of the Earth. And the loudest note from space is a B1 to a B deep B. Solid deep B. Think about that. <laughs> Give a shout out to my boy Angel out there. Woo! It's a posse. Give a shout out to my boy 
triple A clay. Also, Scott Russell, made by one man. My boy Bill. Gotta give a shout out to my boy Bill. Damn, Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. He's been really helpful, actually. I think the name of the channel he has is Renew It. Re, re, no, or... Damn. I knew I screwed that one up. Sorry, Bill. Um, Terry Woodoff. Terry. Tesla. <laughs> I can't give a, a shout-out to my boy who's no longer on YouTube, which is uh, Abraham's Lab. Ryan. Damn. I just feel like he's my brother. Just haven't met him. All right. <clears throat> and Deeds. My Troubadour with the damn Slayer over there. Deeds. I love Deeds out there. I, I got to give a shout out to Tesla Explorer. He's the real Troubadour on, on taking different Tesla systems and perfecting each one like a scientist. Like a scientist you never, ever, ever... Like, could even distract the guy. That's, to me, love to talk to him because he, he reminds me of that. And so does Terry. Terry is that mad scientist. If you watch Terry Woodruff's channel, geez, Terry, man, you, I, I want to hang out with you for at least a week. <clears throat> Locked in. They could throw peanut butter and jelly and bologna sandwiches with a lot of mustard in there. As long as I have water, we're good. Maybe a couple other things, but I ain't going to mention those online. Anyway, back to this. The dielectric really does come into play because the dielectric, this plastic here, you... Um, <clears throat> have a place where the energy is stored and the energy that would be stored in here would be the energy that comes in from i'm going to just call it from behind the, sh the the screen or behind the sheets it's sort of it's counter space counter space why do i even say that counter space well there will be a quarter inch tubing and a 16 inch gauge wire 20 feet on each end um, that um, becomes a, a, a bifiler and uh, one is created as a primary which is the power in and the other side is identical and but it's spun the opposite way so pretty unique situation how we're driving this and not tonight, but another night we're, we're going to get into the next. Uh, we'll have another three pages of what we went over tonight and some more other stuff that we have to add here. But just remember, this is AC here moving, okay? We're, the whole thing is to keep the energy moving. Here's your AC. Here's your DC. Where the DC <clears throat> in play here wound the opposite direction. So this is round one direction. This is round the same direction, okay? And then over here, if this is round opposite direction, this is round the opposite direction. What happens here is we create a compressed, a compressed space here in this dielectric. We're going to have a magnetic field that's going to be very forceful right here in this center here. On top of that, the, on top of this, dielectric here is going to be two quarter inch conductors with a 16 inch gauge wire bifiler okay and one of them being a push that's coming in as the power source in and the one at the bottom here is the power source out power source out coming out is not only related to the back emf from the power source going into the dielectric but the dielectric is getting its push it's push out from the other side dielectric will come into this conductor here and this conductor here would be the pickup along with the 16 gauge wire 
but this is all done in compression in the center of these cones because one cone you know is feeding uh, it inward this way the other cone is feeding in this way at a point from having a rf choke meaning a dc presence in the center of opposite poles here will allow this become a springboard now the springboard that i speak about here in the relations between the top cone and the bottom cone even though they could be wound the same amount of turns with the same wire you add resistance to one side now if you add one ohm of resistance to one side versus the other side you're going to have a difference in potential now think about this what's going to happen here in this oscillation is this peak of the cone and this peak of the cone are going to be high and low pressures but these high and low pressures are going to do this they're going to swap like a damn washing machine going side like horizontally meanwhile the top cone and the bottom cone are are swapping like a washing machine going the opposite way so you're going to have a torque that's going to be created from the top and bottom and then you're going to have a difference in torque between this point and this point because you're going to have a counter it's going to be if this is one high pressure this has got to be the low pressure if this is the high pressure this has got to be the low pressure <coughs> so what you would have is at one half cycle you have a low high low high and this would be just varying up and down at this variant is going to be a quarter wavelength of the schumann resonance and with the tapping into the schumann resonance with this resonator it will provide an ample amount of 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 resources in the center here i, I don't even know where it's taking me to the next level but i'm just going to leave it right here you guys got it it's getting in writing peace out love you all The Wave Resonator. <laughs>